in this video we'll go through the what is extraneous attribute and we'll find out check that what is canonical cover and we'll go through the algorithm to find the canonical cover first of all we'll let try to understand the extraneous attribute what is extraneous attribute let us consider a relation r with schema r having the attributes a b c and set of functional dependencies a b determines c and a determines c in given functional set of dependencies a b determines c here we can say that b is a external attribute why because there is another functional dependency a determines c which means that when a alone can determines c the use of b is unnecessary that is we can say extra so here the we can say that b is a external attribute in the given functional dependency so if we'll take talk about the definition attribute of a functional dependency is said to be external if we can remove it without changing the closure of the set of functional dependencies here if we'll remove b without changing and set of functional dependency it does not make any difference here a determines c is there so if we'll remove this b from a b determines c then there is no change in the functional dependency so remove it without changing the closure of set of functional dependency is called extraneous attribute let's try to understand what is canonical cover canonical cover of a function f is a minimal set of functional dependency equivalent to f having no redundant dependencies or redundant part of dependencies the canonical cover will be de denoted by fc c will be in the subscript to find the canonical cover a canonical cover f is a set of dependency fc such that with this four points we can check that to find the canonical cover f logically implies all dependencies in fc and fc logically implies all dependencies in f and no functional dependency in fc contains any extraneous attribute and each left side of functional dependency in fc is unique if we we'll go through this all four steps we can able to find the canonical cover right let's see a small example here two functional dependencies are given one is a determines b and a determines c and other is a determines b c by using union rule you can say that it is a canonical cover if we we'll apply the union rule so a it will be a determines b c same way from for the second point f c logically implies all dependency in f if we'll apply decomposition rule on the f c we'll get a determines b and a determines c this way we can go through the canonical cover let's try to understand the algorithm to find the canonical cover we have to repeat the following task use union rule to replace any dependencies in functional dependency given alpha 1 determines beta 1 and alpha 1 determines beta 2 with the union rules we can say that alpha 1 determines beta 1 beta 2 find a functional dependency alpha determines beta with an extraneous attribute either in alpha or in beta right if an external attribute is found delete it from alpha determines beta until f does not change note that union rule may become applicable after some external attributes we have removed from the given set of functional dependencies so it has to be reapplied so it will be a repeated task until unless we will not find the canonical cover let's try to solve a small example consider the given schema with the functional dependency a determines b c b determines c a determines b and ab determines c to find the canonical cover of the given what you can say that as per the algorithm 
we have to check the union rule so a determines bc and a determines b and a determines bc so combine a determines bc and a determines b into the a determines bc as a union rule the next is so now set will be a determines bc b determines c and ab determines c here we are removing the a determines b because it is already available as per the union rule a determines b c so next will be a is a extraneous attribute here in a b determines c why because check if the result of deleting a from a b determines c is implied by the other dependencies yes in fact b determines c is already present right so a will be the extraneous attribute here so if we'll remove this the new set will be a determines b c and b determines c the next step c is a extraneous attribute here in a determines b c so check if a determines c is logically implied by a determined b and other dependencies yes using transitivity rule a, a b determines b and b determines c we can check that a determines c is logically implied so by removing that we'll get the canonical cover for the above question will be a determines b and b determines c so if you will check for the f c it will be the a determines b and b determines c from the here in this if you we'll try to find the all the functional dependency given in the question it will be easily we can get by using different armstrong axioms so this will be the example to find the canonical cover thank you